Danegeld by Rudyard Kipling It is always a temptation to an armed and agile nation to call upon a neighbour and to say, We invaded you last night, we are quite prepared to fight unless you pay us cash to go away. And that is called asking for Danegeld, and the people who ask it explain that you've only to pay them the Danegeld, and then you'll get rid of the Dane. It is always a temptation to a rich and lazy nation to puff and look important and to say, Though we know we should defeat you, we have not the time to meet you. We will therefore pay you cash to go away. And that is called paying the Danegeld. But we've proved it again and again, that if once you have paid him the Danegeld, you never get rid of the Dane. It is wrong to put temptation in the path of any nation, for fear they should succumb and go astray. So when you are requested to pay up and be molested, you will find it better policy to say, We never pay anyone Danegeld, no matter how trifling the cost, for the end of that game is oppression and shame, and the nation that plays it is lost. Danegeld refers, of course, to the huge sums of money extracted from Anglo-Saxon kings and lords in the Dark Ages by the Vikings, many of whom came from Denmark. The ultimate result of this was that paying gold to the Viking invaders merely attracted more invaders, and the many incursions of Viking raiders ended up taking over the whole country under the brief empire of King Canute. This has since served as a cautionary tale to British leaders throughout the era of British Empire and beyond. Our leaders would do well to remember it, particularly when Jean-Claude Juncker comes knocking. There is also a useful message to be learned on an individual level. When it comes to people trying to extort money from you, don't give in. Stand your ground. If you pay off a bully without a fight, they will simply get used to coming and taking more, and all of their friends are likely to join in. We see this in politics with the diversity activism industry, an enormous grift industry set up to blackmail corporations into donating cash. If the term didn't have its flattering connotations of masculinity, courage and daring, there are perhaps many parallels between diversity activism and Viking hordes. <laughs>